elevations so the google elevation maps you have terry and the elevations it doesn't doesn't show you detail maybe that you can see that clearly come up uh, the elevation because the in, i'm located in in bangladesh that's why you cannot see the any mountains if you go to the other part of the world so you see the the elevation of the of the google maps so we have something here so elevations so so you see that some part of the country like bangladesh there's elevations so you see the elevation maps the google terrian maps it works and then this is a satellite map because of this, this is the geo functionality communication mobile gsm communication that is the effect of the of the of the terrian you need to be calculate the how much height the, the station will be located how the service is located how the frequency spectrum the frequency is distributed that's thing is important to the to the to the satellite to the the terrian maps the elevation maps so we got the idea what i mean but maybe you have a different use cases to come up the maybe you have some 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 fi the fighting zone or some some flood zones and then all things you can go this way the elevation you get the really clear idea what i mean the how it works and then you have terrian maps the satellite maps you got the picture satellite from the from the google's set, uh, google the map servers you can go to how it works so so let us go, go back to that so we have the four four base maps so from one of the open street maps base maps and for uh, the google hybrid map terrian maps and then and then and then uh, the satellite maps and then here you have the all the vector maps that's that you need to the, build this vector map so make to make solution of the site layers so you have a station or site uh, site a station or site the projected when when you have the google and then it's projected from these layers to the these layers so i mean that one so it is a station site station or site layers you see the the pop up you come in the layer extra layers you build the extra layers and then you have the link layers maybe let's see the link layers so we have a station layer cover area measurement layers exactly same the and this is the OS 74 layers. This is the most important part. So we define the, all the layers, uh, base layers plus our overlay layers from the stations for links for the measurements. And we have the two, two different base layers from the Google's and from the OSM. So very simple call of the, of the OSM layers. And then we, we layer groups, list of layers that we define on the OSM layer, GSM default Google Maps, Google Hybrid Map, and Google satellite carry and stations. This is my layers, my vector layers. This is, this is the my vector layers, and this is the the OSM base layers, and this this four is from the Google Google Map servers. So these are our points. Uh, we define the point location, the latitude, longitude, latitude, because as as as, as far you know the, the Open Street Maps uh, or Google uh, Open Layers is, is dividing the long let uh, structure like longitude and latitude uh, but in the lit, lit case it is latitude longitude case that's the, so station link link station and then in uh, site site links sorry site links and then a uh, station and then link to the um, two points so that means if you make a link between the two points you need at least two points that means this this link maybe we can go the this one the link layer so this is a link this is the one points and this is another points from this to this points <coughs> and you have see also the the latitude north north direction east easting directions latitude longitude in the graphs maybe we can minimize the the grid so if you see the grid is or minimizes grid is really properly let long locations so latitude longitude and then with a line string so if you have a line string build you can see that our starting points end points that i mean this is the starting points and this is the end points for the for building the line string so very simple you open layer geometry line string and you you pass the the, the variables i pass the you uh, variables like where you said to the first points and last points and this is the 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 stock layer colors you can also the change the colors styling the inside styling but i put it here this case like everything into the into the 
into the my JavaScript function, but you can do it can you can customize from different way of doing. So you make a new style, different style sheet, style CSS file or other JavaScript libraries to make it really dynamic or really, really efficient uh, styling sheet. You can do this one, but this is kind of dummy application. You can go this way. So station link layer. So we see that uh, the station link features. So in you open layer, new features, vectors, and pass the, our links, our lines. That's the idea. I added the lines layers and then there is styles and there is no other options here. So you see the dynamics, uh, dynamic open layers. This is the function that I, I need to be talking about this one. So that's, I wrote it, these functions. So different functions and this is the, that's I say, this is the library injections, your own library injections, uh, own library injections in the JavaScript functions. Uh, so you can save it here, the these JavaScript functions and then you see the this is the library injection and this is the, all the libraries that i wrote it here so let's see the dynamic station layers libraries dynamic station layer library this is the dynamic station library. so very simple very very simple uh can say function is for building the dynamic station from the station site geo coordinate point the generated features by transforming objects in different projection systems so this is the function definition how it works so dynamic station very simple Live JavaScript library only one containing only one function. So it has a, has a point X and point Y. That means longitude, latitude, or latitude, longitude. And I pass the latitude, longitude, open layers, let long. And then I have a variable transform that's let long to the, to the, from the, from the open street map to the Google maps. We have the transformations functions and then open layer projections in here. So generate the geo point geometry. So you pass the let long. So long part and let part and points is created. Just the really efficient way how you program it. That's, that's I mean, how you, you program in JavaScript and how we can build the JavaScript library and how can you write some very simple functions to make really flexible or make a really independent business logic into different levels of uh, your features or different levels of your functionalities. That's I mean, that's I said, uh, this is, one sort of the professional way to do, but in the, for the beginner, it is understanding and hard to understand, but I think so you can get a really close look at that one. You can get really proper idea. How can you write down your, your JavaScript library and how can very simple functions and then this function to function communication, how can you depend and depend, inject the JavaScript dependency into the, your main Main, main view cases, I mean the your HTML cases, even though how can you inject the, your JavaScript libraries or JavaScript function to the other JavaScript functions and libraries, then, then it works automatically. This is just just go the step by step. I will go, I will go a little bit slow up these this cases. So I have it points, latitude, longitude points. I pass it this latitude, longitude in long let um, uh, class on methods. And then I store that here, and then I transform the projection systems, and then build the points. So we see the very simple new open layer geometry points. It has passing the latitude, longitude in the geometry points. To generate geo points features with symbolics, with symbols, you see the symbols. You can pass the spatial feature symbols. You can pass the, this is the passing the geometry that we have it in the in the here geometry layers like latitude, longitude, and then how the geometry, the styling. So it has a radius, this one, 16, opacity 0.5, depending what you have it. And this is the image layers that I have. So the external graphics. So this is the external graphics that I said in the side image layers. So this is the feature. So we define our geometry, we add the features and then add the styles, this one. So this is, I said, the image.site PNG that says specific locations, so image dot that side PNG. That's you see that side PNG is here. So, and then PNG, and then it's returning the points. The functions is returning the the geo geo point features. That means that we build our points, uh, the points locate the points, and we we transform the different projection system from the open street or uh, for four thousand three hundred twenty six to the the 900, 9, 913s and uh, Google projection systems. And then we, we set the, 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 the 
uh, vectors, point vectors, and then we add the features. 